Hello, this is Michelle Knight. Welcome to your weekly astrology. This week, we have some slight opposition with Uranus. So expect surprises and make sure you listen. Also, we have a full moon firing us up in passionate Aries. Here's your weekly astrology. So, my Aries friend, are you feeling passionate? Are you feeling excited about the upcoming full moon in your sign? There's going to be a peak of energy, and it could be quite an emotional roller coaster. We're moving into that time of year, which is Scorpio season, actually, even though we're not officially there. Venus, the planet of love, is going into Scorpio, and it activates your eighth house, which is all about your primal emotions. There's an intensity in the air, and also maybe a kind of vulnerability as you're opening up to your deeper feelings and you're looking at how to transform your life by facing the past in some way. Now, you know, you know what we're like. We like to sort of be rushing onwards, but sort of Scorpio grabs us by the scuff, scruff of the neck and makes us go inside to look at what our deeper feelings. That or our deeper feelings can hijack us at this time. So if you find yourself going through a lot of intensity this week, Blame Venus going into Scorpio. We also have Mercury already in Scorpio opposing Uranus. So there are issues to do with power. So it's very important that you listen this week. Your inclination is to say what you think and not really care about the consequences, but it will really serve you well to listen. Otherwise, you could find yourself in a power struggle with someone. Now, Venus in Scorpio also makes you very intense and very charismatic and very appealing. Other people find you attractive and mysterious. So use that energy well and dive into the deeper layers of love this week. Although do avoid obsessions, love triangles or anything that kind of is deliciously tantalising, but, you know, ultimately is not for your greater good. And only, of course, only you can decide that. We also have Mars, our ruler, opposing Chiron, the wounded healer. So in terms of your relationships, your relationships become a mirror this week. You're looking at your partner. And if there's something that you're seeing that you find irritating, like if they're a bit bolshy or this, that and the other, or, or perhaps there's something from the past to do with arguments that you need to heal, it does come up this week. Now, it comes up not just to play havoc with your love life. It comes up so that you can look at your own pat patterns, own your own patterns, and heal the relationship. Kathy behind the camera is now quite interested, because obviously that's something that we can work on together this week, my darling. Anyway, we also have Venus opposing Uranus. So there's a lot, lots of issues to do with these oppositions, which can be quite exciting. It's not all bad news, it's not negative, but it kind of can get you in trouble if you're not sort of quick off the mark and deal with things and listen to things and don't fall into traps. Now the full moon in Aries is going to be very emotional for you. You're going to feel a surge of, of intense, fiery feelings. It's about your identity. How do you feel about who you are at the moment? Are you being true to yourself? Are you on the right path? How are you with your independence? All of this is coming to a head this week. But you have a golden opportunity to direct that energy and tap in to the psychic element of that to move onwards. Um, so pay attention to your dreams, look out for a strange synchronicity and see what happens. Okay, let's look what the tarot has to say. If you're not into tarot, see you next week. Don't worry about it. Don't fret about the fact some people like tarot and uh, have a fabulous time. Okay, if you are into tarot, let's have a little look what's going on for you this week. Hold on. Excuse me, snuffling. Okay, Aries, 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 Aries. Oh, the Ace of Pentacles. That fits in with what's going on for you to do with power, money and security this week. You may be travelling, you may be juggling things. There's a great deal of healing and inspiration around you. Ace of Pentacles, ground yourself. There are opportunities for you this week to reach an abundance peak. Then you'll balance things, things up. You may be thinking of going on a journey 
but you're finding the balance to do that. And then healing and inspiration, the star. Look out for a channeled idea, a moment where you just feel, ah, oh, you know, the past is behind you. But do be earthy this week. Queen of Pentacles, a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn energy, but it's also asking you, uh, suggesting that you embody that energy. Um, the Page of Cups, there may be a younger Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio around you who has very beautiful energy and relaxing energy. You're coming up to a point where it's time to go over the crossroads. You know when we get the judgment card, it's like we know that things have got to change and it's time to take that road. We can't ignore it anymore because we are awakened. And the lovers, great passion, wonder and delicious experience connected to love when you do take that path. There also might be, I could go on forever, couldn't I? There could also be some changes in your home or a erotic, passionate meeting with someone in your home this week. But you know what? That's all good, isn't it? Thanks for watching, my lovely. Do come and visit me on Instagram, at Michelle Knight, Michelle with one L. I do interactive tarot every day and astrology. And if you want a free compatibility chart and your natal chart with all the details for free, michelleknight.com. And also, if you love the astrology, horoscope.co.uk. See you there.